so it's been maybe about half an hour since I left really not a whole lot going on it's all just nice and flat it's in the morning so the fog's still a little bit here and it's kind of going away this trip was well needed I wish it was a little bit longer but you know, I got things to do it's just life that's how my life is But here's the plan. I'm gonna drive basically west until I intersect with the 40. And then I'll take the 40 up to Amarillo and then take another highway until it intersects with the I-25. Going through Pueblo, Colorado, Colorado Springs, and then loop around to Denver. And that'll be the area, the outskirts of Denver. That'll be where I stop for the night, get some rest, ready up for tomorrow. I've changed my route. Instead of going through the I-70, through the mountains, early in the morning, tomorrow morning, um, I'm actually heading up to Idaho to go see a couple friends that I haven't seen in quite some time. So yeah, that's the plan. Fill up outside of Amarillo, fill up in Pueblo, rest in Denver area, and then hit the road. That's the plan. We'll see what happens. Texas. Um, for the last couple hours or so, up until about three miles into Childers, it was fog all the way. Like that truck up there that you probably can't even see on the camera, maybe a good four or five seconds away from me. Couldn't see it. Couldn't see that far ahead of me. In the middle of the whole fog situation, uh, the highway I was taking decided it wanted to be closed like completely shut off inside a detour at least I don't know 10 miles outside of my way in an area I've never been before in the fog where I can hardly see anything it's quite the adventure saw a train just because I like trains I decided to film it because you know I saw a train okay so looks like I got another hundred miles or so till I'm into Amarillo that'll be around that area is where my next fuel stop is going to be, my next pit stop. Um, another bathroom break and do all the stuff I need to do. Maybe get some food. Yeah, I'll probably get some food. It'll be lunchtime. But yeah, a couple more hours till first pit stop. So let's keep rolling. and almost 18 gallons. $1.55 a gallon here. When I was debate when I was deciding where to get gas, I took a I took a gamble. It shows Dumas, Texas, just about 40, 50 miles north of Amarillo to get gas here. Turn right. And I have a 22 gallon tank. So I could have made it a little bit further, but my light just came on, so I decided I might as well. And honestly, $1.55 is the lowest price I have seen, so I got extremely lucky with my decision. So I'm happy with it. And right now, it's time for me to get some food, so that is what I'm going to do now. I'm going to get food at the one and only Taco Bell. Lunch time. miles 
miles from Pueblo, which is my next fuel stop. I'm running on just about half a tank, so I'll be able to make it there all fine and dandy. Be able to get outside of Denver by maybe around 6, 6.30. Give me plenty of time to get some rest and get ready for the next day. The next drive tomorrow, that's going to be a long drive nine hours to where I'm going in Idaho and then another four hours after that so I'm looking at 13 hours unless I can push it today I'll see how far I get tonight all right I'm running out of daylight so this will probably be the last one you know it's only five o'clock and the sun's going down thank you daylight savings by the way beautiful shot of that sun. I mean look at that sunset it's just gorgeous all right, so new plan. I will be stopping in uh, Fort Collins, Colorado, uh, just several miles south of the border. I'll be stopping there for the night. Um, it's uh, five o'clock now. I should be getting there at about 7.20, 7.30, traffic pending. We'll see how well going rush hour through Denver's gonna be. I'm not looking forward to that, but I don't need to stop in Denver. We got a full tank of gas. I'll fill up in Fort Collins on the way up there. But, uh, but yeah, Fort Collins is my last stop of the day. I'll fill up in the morning. And oh, look, train carrying window plates. And yeah, that'll call it for the night. Center Street they got a bunch of Christmas lights set up and I'm 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 a sucker for Christmas lights I know it's just the beginning of November but I love Christmas lights like, but yeah so that was beautiful nice to drive through didn't think about getting my camera out but oh well but yeah got some fuel in Laramie making my way to Rock Springs we'll I'll fuel up again before heading up to Idaho Falls I think to meet my friends so that's the plan sticking to it I got 180 miles till I exit excuse me till I get into Rock Springs so should be about nine o'clock by the time I get there it'll be a little bit but uh, yeah no it'll be a little bit so yeah I'll update you once I get to Rock Springs <laughs>
I don't exactly know what the name of the national forest is called, but driving through it on my way to go into Idaho. This place is gorgeous. There's even a, a little town. I can't remember the name of the town. I gotta go back and take a look at that after I get home. But oh my goodness, this place is gorgeous. I mean, you, you, you can't, You can't find this anywhere else. Wow. I mean, look how green these trees are. Oh, it's just beautiful. I'm going to stand on top of the car and then change the angle so you can see it a lot better because this is, this is incredible. I don't know, maybe I could work as a park ranger out here. I'd love that. That would be cool. Anyway, still got a long ways to go. So, and still got a lot of battery to save. So, bye for now. Just under 50 minutes, so okay, under an hour. About 40 miles to go till lunch, so pretty excited about that. And I gotta say, battery, but I, I just wanted to say, like, that was that was incredible. That was amazing. I could just live out there. That'd be great. Anyway, okay, that's it. All right, so I just got into Rexburg. I'm here at the Applebee's down there, just waiting for my friends. So yeah. I'm excited. Here we go. Okay, so I just got done in Al Applebee's seeing my friends, and it was really good to see him again. Like I said before, I haven't seen her in a couple years, and him, it's been at least five years, or not more than that. Uh, but yeah, it's good to sit down, catch up, and just talk, and have some good food. Honestly, it was really nice to sit down and have an actual meal as opposed to just the junk food that you eat when you're on a road trip. But, anyway, so yeah, it's good to see them. On my way home, I got quite a ways to go, for about four hours or so, I'm probably, oh yeah, I'm not gonna make it before sundown. So it's part, it's kind of raining, it's the kind of sporadic showers down there. I'm hoping to get home before it starts snowing because driving through a big city and the snow on the interstate is a recipe for disaster, as I have seen firsthand. So that's a story for another day. Okay, it looks like about 7.30 is when I should be getting home. So that's if I don't stop. I got a full tank of gas. Full tank of gas. As long as the rain doesn't stop me. Yeah, the sun's gonna set before I even get into Salt Lake. Yeah. This will be fun. This will be really fun. Not looking forward to this, but hey, I survived Denver last night, so I'll survive uh, Salt Lake City today. Anyway, so I'm gonna put the camera down, I'm gonna drive home, and that will be the end of my vacation. A good eight days, well needed, I'm glad I got to do it. I got to see my family that I love. Got to see a couple of friends on the way back. Got to see some beautiful area. Honestly, Jackson, Wyoming. I'm, I'm still blown away by that. I might go back there just for the heck of it. 
don't know, spend a weekend up there, that'd be nice. Have a couple buddies. That would be fun. Okay, anyway, I'll show you some of the views on the way home and see you when I get home. Okay, new plan. Um, the weather got pretty nasty. It Honestly, it's lightened up a bit now, but when you're driving, you can hardly see anything, and the wind is blowing, and it's dark, and you can't see the lines in the road. So, for me, that's four things. I'm gonna stop. I found a little rest stop. I'm gonna pull over and wait. It looks like things are gonna clear up by about midnight, one o'clock in the morning, and I'm gonna leave then. It looks like the snow's not gonna be starting till about eight in the morning, so I have until then to get home. So that's my new plan. I'll just set up the camper, I'll wait, probably take a little nap, and get going again around midnight. So here's the hoping that's how things go. Mm -hmm. 